Hello everyone, it is Sweet Cup AG, and in today's video we are going to be customizing a $40 American Girl doll. So to explain the situation, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you are confused right now, it was just recently Prime Day, and this is a first thing that I have heard about in years. I've never known that they did this, but apparently American Girl does Prime Day. And so I went onto the Amazon website, and lo and behold, an American Girl, like Truly Chic doll or whatever the rebrand of the Truly Me dolls were a while back, is on sale for like 61% off. And if you know me, you know that I'm not going to let that go to waste. So of course I bought the doll. I'll put a picture of her up on screen so that you guys can see her number two. But um, this is not my favorite American Girl doll. And so we are going to be customizing her, switching her around a little bit, and I will get reveal at the end. I'll bring you guys along with the process and we'll see how much she comes out being for, you know, a basically brand new custom doll. I'll go to past Lindsay to explain all that's happening now and let's get right on into the unboxing. Hi guys, guess what just came in the mail? Oh my god, um, so I only ordered her like four days ago. I'm sure voiceover me explained the whole $40 situation. Um, but yeah, it's been like three days since I ordered her because with Prime Day, I also got Prime Day shipping. So let's get her out of this box, first of all. Oh, I got nail tips as well. Oh my gosh, this is the first time that I'm going to be seeing her. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's so gorgeous. I don't think I have the, what is it, the Somali face mold? Let's get her out of this packaging. I don't have the um, street sheet box for American Girl either. Oh my god. She's gorgeous. I'll give you guys a good look. I'm not gonna, I'm not sure, like, you know how amazing you can see her eyes but oh my gosh i'm pretty sure she has the gray yeah she has the gray molly eyes they are also like kind of green and they are adorable with her skin tone she looks so cute of course she comes with the um friends book for american girl i have so many of those at this point that you know i should probably start selling them <laughs> but um We'll get a good look at her outfit whenever I get her completely out of the box too. But this is also my first look at her hair and I don't hate it as much as I do from the photos. Um, it definitely looks better in person, but I still think that the other wig is going to look so much cuter. I won't show you guys that now because I, I'm going to keep it a little surprise until it gets shipped here. It has not arrived yet. I think I got it from... Um, Zazu dolls, I believe. And um, oh, she looks so cute. I need to go grab a pair of scissors. I'll be right back and then we can cut this girly out. Okay. I literally stopped getting ready for, if you couldn't tell by the fit, I'm just about to go to work in like 30 minutes. And I like, I know my, like my mother told me like, oh, she's here. And I was like, I want to open her before I go on my shift because I'm gonna be like freaking out the entire time in anticipation if I don't open her now. They need to find a better way to do this next situation because Jesus. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you guys believe that? A brand new doll, a brand new doll for 40 bucks for the price that you'd pay for like a second hand one. Are you kidding? Oh my God. I'm sorry, this is literally my first look at her or else I'd be like showing her more to you guys, but oh my god. I, I've timed fangirl over her later, okay? This is her. We'll take the little protective coverings off. I don't throw the trash everywhere. Um, we're gonna have to take off her shoes to get these ones because I don't want to get that close to her vinyl with the scissors. But... I'm just gonna keep her shoes off because I plan on changing her out of this outfit like almost immediately. But they came with, um, typically I think they used to be white sparkly, then they were pink sparkly, and now these ones are purple sparkly. 
and I think they're cute, honestly. I like the color. I don't like the sparkles, but I'm going to use them. Duh. Paid for them. Um, she has these cute little, I didn't expect them to be embroidered, but these embroidered white, oh wow, look at that button. These embroidered white um, jean shorts, and then it also is like Velcro in the front, which I love that as well, which I'm assuming, yeah, elastic in the back too, so that, you know, everything goes on okay. Um, I like the shorts. I'll probably reuse the shorts because... If it weren't for the flower embroidery, I definitely like them so much more, but it's okay. Um, the next thing is this all the way Velcro down the back, like jersey hoodie thing. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this top. I think it might be cute for like a boy doll. I can see, like, I can understand why this would be cute for a boy doll, but um, I, I like the AG logo. I think that that's cute. And I like the gray. I don't like the like sparkly purple mesh material going on here but um oh my god she's gorgeous i'm pretty sure this is the sonali face mold if i'm not feel free to correct me but um i'm not sure if i have that in my collection yet i probably do and i just don't know it because this will be my um my 26th american girl doll you have to understand that like whenever you see a doll for 40 dollars, you don't pass it up and literally the only thing i have wrong with her is her hair color that's the only thing that i think clash with the rest of my collection so let's you know take a look at this hair we'll get a close-up for you guys who i know love the um wig cap removals the hair net oh, gorgeous oh it's like hair sprayed girl like what in the world Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I don't hate the wig. It's a cuter purple in person, that's for sure. It's cause like, cause of like the purple highlights and stuff. I just don't like it on her, I think. I think it might be the way that it like clashes with her gray eyes or something. I just think that if it were on a different doll, it would definitely look cute. So I'm gonna keep the wig, duh. Um, cause you know, I do this kind of stuff out of the blue all the time and if I one day get like a TLC doll and I try on because I still have Abigail's old wig too which is like a brownish like longish you know wig and um if I try a purple wig on a future TLC doll and I'm like oh my god this is adorable this is perfect then duh I'm gonna put it on her but I just don't like it on her and the wig that I ordered is gonna look so cute now the thing that i couldn't decide with her is if um i wanted to redo her eyebrows because the way that it looked on the stock photos is that her eyebrows were like super far apart they kind of are here too but um or add like i'm probably gonna do some like light blushing to her nose and her lips um just because i think that that looks cuter on dolls especially because um i didn't buy this doll to keep her the way that she is, you know? Like I do with most of my other dolls. Like, she's not gonna be like a collector's item like the rest of them. Um, so she is just gonna be my like, oh, she's gonna be cute, she's gonna be cute. I'd like to say my experimentation, but that was literally with um, Monique and Blanche. I have to get a name for her ready. I was thinking um, if this is the name that I do end up using, I'm gonna, um, voice it out right here right now but I was thinking Dottie because I saw it on a Cat Humane Society poster just yesterday just yesterday and I was like oh my god that's so cute and with um once you guys see the full completion she does look like a Dottie and so I think that that name would be adorable I'll probably ask my Instagram followers um once I have her all together if that's what her name should be but this purple is picking up so well on camera I did not anticipate for it to like look this cute to be honest the stock photos do her yeah it's so dirty but um I know that I'm not gonna keep her this way just because I don't like this wig on the specific doll but yeah I'll definitely keep the wig it's crunchy for some reason we all know that American girls quality has been like going down over the years which you know I don't care because I just I love the dolls <laughs> but like 
I'm obsessed. I'm definitely, like I said, you guys are gonna see me take her wig off. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm definitely gonna do some blushing to her face. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to do her eyebrows because her wig, the wig that I ordered is like pure black. Cause that's how I wanted, cause I wanted her eyes to stand out more. So her wig is like black, like raven black, you know? And her eyebrows are like this lightish brown color. And so I was thinking that if I were to change it, it would be to make her eyebrows stand out a little bit more cause I think it would be prettier and um, to make them like black, you know? But, She is literally so gorgeous. I'm so happy with her. I never envisioned myself getting this doll, but like I said, I didn't know that they did Prime Day. American Girl did Prime Day, but um, yeah, to any of you guys out there who also got a doll from Prime Day for super cheap, cause I know she was 61% off. I saw some other dolls that were like 40 some percent. There were some that were super duper cheap. I think she might've been one of the cheapest, but I was late on day two with them. I found out, um, from another AG tuber, so I appreciate it so, so much. <laughs> and, um, oh, she is so cute. She's so cute. I love her so much. Yeah, I'm gonna have my Instagram followers vote on the name once she's all complete, so that I think that you have to match the name to like the whole look going on. But I'm gonna get her out of these clothes definitely i'm not sure if i'm going to sew a new outfit for her in time it depends how late the wig gets here but oh, i'm in love let's go to future Lindsay, who is either going to be wig swapping or face up in. okay guys so um i lied i did a little bit of her face up just because i'm impatient i did decide to darken up the eyebrows if you can see, this is the difference that we're looking at. I just think that whenever we get her wig, it's going to look so much better. But if my camera would focus, this is how she's looking. I'm about to strong arm this wig off very, very soon because should I have done the face up before I took the wig off? Yeah, probably. I mean, should I have done the face up after I took the wig off? Yeah, probably. But, um,. Did I think that far through it? Of course not. Um, basically, face up wise, I'm sure that I'll do like a full look whenever she's done, but I just added some like cute little freckles. The lighting right now isn't the greatest. Like I said, I did her eyebrows, did some blushing, put some gloss on her lips. It's not completely done yet, but I'm sure that I will get back to it whenever she is all good and she's gonna be bald. But um, yeah, this is her so far. Oh my gosh, she's bald. She's bald and she's torturing people who have hair. Okay guys, she is officially done. I completed her face up. Her wig just came in the mail. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. But first I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer look before we get her wig on. My camera would focus real quick. I did retouch her eyebrows. It looks so much better. I think you guys are going to agree too whenever you see the before and after. But I also gave her some blushing, some light freckling with some beauty marks, some tiny little eyelashes just on the edge to like kind of accentuate and elongate her eyes. And then also I gave her some lip gloss. With the way that my tripod is set up, I can't really get her eyes open but um <laughs> you're definitely going to be able to see that in a little bit because i am going to take some photos of her after i get this wig on i was correct she is from zazu dolls so if you guys are interested in this wig i definitely go purchase it um it is so soft it is so like kinky curly me and my mother did decide on a name for her just last night and uh, it is so perfect it is so pretty i got this really dark black as you guys knew so that it could make her eyes stand out i have not yet tried it on the doll but i'm going to glue it in just a second because oh my gosh is it gorgeous it is definitely going to be the perfect match it could not have turned out better and i will get to the reveal now Okay, everybody, here she is. She is all complete, all done. Her face up, her wig is glued on nice and tight. And she, oh, I, I just, I don't know how to express it in words. I don't think that she could have turned out better. And drum roll for the face reveal. I officially decided to name her Lottie. So 
kind of close to Dottie. I just changed it to Lottie because I thought that that was so much cuter. It also reminds me of Tiana's friend from Princess and the Frog. That's where I got it from. And I just, doesn't she just look like a Lottie? Like, isn't that adorable? So welcome her to the Sweet Cup AG family. I'll put a picture up on screen right now of a bit closer if you want to see her face up, but the full photos uncropped and everything will be posted to my Instagram. So you should definitely go check that out. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it is at Sweet Cup AG. Link is in the bio. Everything you need is down there. My Etsy shop, my Gmail, my <laughs> all my social medias. You guys get the gist by now. If you like this video, please like it. It really helps me out a lot. And then also make sure to subscribe because I do this stuff spontaneously all the time and I would not want you to miss out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have a good day and stay happy and healthy. Bye! Watch Wednesday, post, make